preparing to leave off. Yeah. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Good. There you go. Nice. Hand to the chest. Hand to the chest. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's discuss two types of draws. On the left uh, is going to be the A to B. On the right is going to be the three-step draw. What's the difference? The difference is how you track the sights, how you pick up the sights, and how long the track is, right? What the track means is how long it takes the gun to get out of the holster into presentation. On the right side is a three-step draw, right? It's kind of a smooth L shape. It's a little bit longer uh, for the gun to move. However, the benefit is that you pick up the dot uh, or the front sight as you press out from your face to the target. You get about a foot to do that here. It's more of the A to B on the right side here. It's shorter distance, however, he's got to spend time picking up the optic. Now, if you can consistently bring the optic or the front sight to the eye every time and you don't have a delay, then it is overall going to be the fastest. But I'll find for most shooters, most people on the right side here, we'll do the three-step draw. Picking up that front sight, pushing it out, and then shooting at full presentation is going to be just as fast or a lot of times faster because so many people linger with the sight there, right? So figuring out what's best for you, either way, it takes practice. Um, you know, you have to be mechanically sound uh, to do the A to B. You have to bring the gun up to the same spot every time, not lose a dot, not lose a front sight. I like the three-step draw because you pick up the front sight. I will say Jason needs to sit there and bring the front sight up more uh, so he picks that up. But then again, he's using the dot, so he's not really using the sights. But if you're using iron sights, you want to camp the gun forward. Now, let's uh, on the next one, let's watch how it goes. Let's see if I do it. I know I'm smoothing out my, my L a little bit. I'm going a little bit more target focused here. So I'm not super worried about picking the front sight up early. So on the left here, I bring it up, roll the front sight up, and I try to flatten out. A little bit of A to B, but you see I have to adjust at the very end and bring the gun up. And that's what we're kind of trying to prevent is all this movement and delay when we present the gun before we take the shot. So let's watch Jason on the right here. Bring it up. Yeah, front sight up. He tracks it out. Boom, you can shoot, right? And you can make that adjustment to find the sight in that 12, you know, 16 inches, that's what she said, uh, to, you know, before you get full presentation, A to B, you don't give yourself much time. Here, A to B, he's got right now to find the sight. He's making slight adjustments pretty quick. You know, he's practiced that a lot. Let's watch him do uh, the three-step draw. I say two-step draw because we're not, step one is getting the index and grabbing the gun out of the holster. So angles the, bring his gun up. So it's still kind of flat, but he's able to shoot at presentation. Mainly because he's trying to flatten the gun out so he can see the dot. So that's the difference between the dot and using a, an iron front sight. Let's watch again. You can reference the front sight to transition to the dot very quick. 